smoked prime rib. Sliced and served with a brown butter garlic sauce. We'll get it going with the basics. A little kosher salt, a little extra kosher salt, some fresh cracked black pepper, a little dry mustard, granulated garlic, paprika, and a touch of some cayenne. Just a little bit of heat, not too much. Okay? Now, mix this up, rub it on top, rub it on the sides. Okay? Now we're gonna let this stand. It's a little room temperature. You see how easy it moves around? That's gonna help us when we go and sear this, a cast iron skillet. So, I've got some lump charcoal as well as some briquettes. Nice consistency burn with the briquettes and that flavor coming out of that lump charcoal. Gonna dump it right down in here. I'm trying to keep it almost on one side. Now, I've got some wood chips over here, some apple and some hickory, two of my favorites. So we're gonna drop some of the apple and hickory, soaking in water here so they don't just burn up right off the bat. So we'll lay those chips down on there. We'll just leave a little bit of that water and we'll lay this down here. We're kind of doing an indirect cooking right now. So I'm gonna drop this. Take this, let this heat up. I got the vent on the bottom open, vent on the top open. We're creating the convection. We're feeling it, it's coming through. This is indirect cooking, as a friend of mine would tell me. And I'm gonna season the bottom of this cast iron skillet, whoa, with some of these fresh herbs. I've got some thyme, I got some rosemary, of course, a little bit of oregano, and I'm just kind of getting the bottom of that pan just nice and well seasoned. You can smell it right now. I'm gonna use this later, so I'll hold tight with that, okay? Here it is, the star of the show, gonna wow everybody. That standing rib roast, bone in, seasoned salt and pepper, drop it down, sear all the sides, here we go. Remember, this cast iron skillet was smoking hot and I dropped a cold piece of meat on it, kind of a room temperature piece of meat, but it'll cool down now. So it's gonna take a little bit more time to recover as I go to sear each side. Work at the fat cap right now. Look at that, huh? Now we'll go to the side. And for good measure, a little bit on the bottom. All right. Now we'll go over to the barbecue. Look at all that smoke cooking out of there. Fantastic. Oh, that's Flavor City right there. All the coals on this side. And what I'm going to do, this is the critical part, bone, big side of the rib, eye of the meat over here, bring it over and put that towards the main heat source, OK? Doing it about a quarter opening on both the bottom and the top, so a little bit of smoke will be coming through. Two and a half hours at 225 degrees. Oh, one thing I forgot, hang on. I gotta drop this in. This is the fresh herbs that I took that I seasoned the pan with. I'm just gonna throw this right on top and just let that add some of its flavor. Okay, right now I'm gonna make a brown butter sauce and more than just a brown butter sauce, but this really fantastic, flavorful, almost like a steak sauce meets brown butter sauce. What I've got here is some garlic, some shallots, dropping that right in. Started with a cold pan. I don't want to drop that butter in too fast and have it burn on us right off the bat. I'll just throw all that parsley in. I'm gonna let this kind of just cook down a little bit. See where it's just starting to bubble, just starting to foam just a little bit. That's what we're looking for. Now we're gonna add a little demi-gloss. What's demi-gloss? Well, we got a little veal stock married with a little espanol sauce, one of the mother sauces. So we'll just put a touch of that in, and you love the richness that comes out of the demi-gloss. Get a little beef stock in there as well. About a cup of that, we're gonna really, now I can crank the heat up. Now I'm not worried about that butter burning any further. So about a cup of that, and then believe it or not, what you love with prime rib and steak, you love a little Worcestershire. So we'll put a healthy little dose of some Worcestershire. Let that reduce down, okay? And last but not least, I gotta pull this prime rib and let it rest that rib, let it rest. Now what I'm gonna do, I've let it rest. I'm just gonna come right in here, cut it off the bone. There we go. Nice end cut piece here for my dad. We're talking, and look at this, huh? There we go. Right up on top. Cooking it with the bone in, I'm telling you, makes all the difference in the world. Platter those up in that really big, nice end cap. Now we'll take some of this. I gotta check this. This is a huge reduction. We got butter, 
We've got garlic, we've got shallots, demi-gloss, a little beef stock, Worcestershire. Oh, fantastic. And then we'll just give that a little drizzle, a little brown butter drizzle right over the top of this. Now, I know I'm not supposed to do this because I'm supposed to wait for my mom to come over from next door with a salad and the sides, but I gotta get a bite of this. I gotta get a bite of this. Let's see here, right up here at the eye, nice and tender. And the smoke is the kicker on this, you guys. Smoky, that garlic, that brown butter. Prime rib has so much available flavor. It will take that smoke on so great with all that fat. Cook low and slow, nice and tender. The dry rub on the outside, 